Welcome to Burger Week. We have chosen three different destinations to try out some delicious burgers. We will be visiting Beef Eater, Five Guys and Wendy's. Today, we're at Wendy's. Wendy's is an American international fast food restaurant chain founded in Columbus, Ohio. After setting up in the UK in the 1980s and 90s, Wendy's finally departed the country in 2001. Property costs and overheads were cited as the reason for them closing their restaurants, with the brand saying expansion at the time wasn't possible. But in 2021, Wendy's returned to the UK and now has more than 25 branches with dine-in restaurants in Reading, Stratford, Oxford, Croydon, Romford, Camden, Brighton, Ilford, Maidstone, Sutton, Uxbridge, Kingston and Sheffield. Its first UK drive through opened at Brampton in Cambridgeshire in January 2023. Their UK website boasts it's time for a girl to show how it's done. Right. Fresh British beef hot off the grill. Every time. Wendy's was built on fresh, so we start with fresh beef served hot off the grill for all of our burgers, not the warming tray. The restaurant was quite busy when we visited, so we decided to bring Wendy home with us. Let's open her up and see what's inside. I'm hungry. Where is my Wendy's? Right in front of you. Oh, well, let's get serving. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Ooh, lots of ketchups, first of all. Very good. Do you know that I had to put the number of ketchups down? The number of ketchups that you wanted? No, because I ordered them in the kiosk. Oh, I see. So it's not actually supplied afterwards. Mayo uh, is extra, so I didn't want to pay Ooh. for that. So there's our fries, and they are properly cut with the skins on. Did we get the same burger each? Because you went the in the same order. The same burger. And you said it's Dave's. It's a Dave single. A Dave single? Because I think that the double might be two patties, but I just got one. Patty, but I thought it was Wendy. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely wrapped. Let's see what is inside. Oh, it's the, the traditional square oh, patty. Look, gherkin. Oh, I don't like that. You can have that. I'll put that over on yours. And we're very posh, but we're having plates because we're at home. Marcus is even having a fork. I've knife. even got an iPhone fork. Yeah, that's going to be difficult. Mmm. Okay. So, let's get started. Shall I tuck in first? Do you know what? I'm just going to bite into it. I'm going to be messy, I think. It's a little bit cold. Is that because you brought it home? I'm not sure they actually... Oh, they did. They did toast the bun. It was warm when I was walking back. Mm -hmm. It's juicy. But I think that's coming from the tomato. Do you know what I'm going to do to actually test <laughs> the burger? I'm going to get the knife and fork. To test the burger, I'm going to cut a little piece off so that we can actually tell what the meat is like on its own. So there's a bit there. Let's have a look at this. It's not a very thick burger, but I guess it depends what one you get. The Dave's is the basic one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think that I didn't want to get any of those junior ones. It's, to me, it tastes like a standard um, takeaway burger, like fast food burger. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste particularly different from the one that you might get at McDonald's, the uh -huh. standard one or the standard one at um, Burger King. Is it better? It's about the same, I would say. Mm. I would think that you may have to upgrade to something else if you want a more meatier option. So why don't you talk into yours, Paul? We've had Wendy's before. This is one of those 
bog standard ones, as I said to Marcus. And like he said, um, well, at least there's like some things in it. Um, okay. Um, let me take one more bite, sorry. I think this is better than the standard ones at Burger King and McDonald's. This seems more bigger than their bog standard ones. I think this might be, how would I equate it to the Burger King and McDonald's ones? Um, this is kind of like, just like a normal Whopper maybe. Like that quality, I think. I think in terms of McDonald's, this isn't a, Big Mac, obviously, because it's bigger. I'm not saying that it's not of the same standard. It's sufficient. Um, will I be properly full? I don't know, but that's why I got the fries. Um, but overall, I think that it's okay. It's not like, wow, I love this burger. It's like, oh, it meets the standards, I think. You mentioned fries, so let's see what they taste like. Are, are they soggy? No, they're not. Really? There's a little bit of heat still left in them. Oh, okay. They're salted. They're certainly a better cut than you'd get at McDonald's or Burger King. They seem a little bit more sort of firmer. I think this is a classier fry, but it's maybe not in the same league as more expensive burger restaurants. Why don't you try them? So these are the large um, fries. I ordered them separate. So I ordered two burgers separate and I ordered one fry only because I think I didn't want to upgrade to a meal. I'm surprised that they aren't soggy. I think because these chips seem to be bigger or basically, um. They seem to be larger than the ones at McDonald's. Um, I haven't been to Burger King forever, so I can't say what their fries are like. But I think these stand the test of time in terms of um, not being soggy and not losing its shape, because I know that that's what happens to the McDonald's ones. Well, yeah, I do like these Wendy's fries. Well, while we continue to tuck into our lovely dinner here, have a look at these and we'll be back with our assessment at the end of the show. We hope you enjoyed the show today. Please continue to like, comment and subscribe. Now you may remember that we visited Wendy's in Reading. That was the first one that reopened in the UK after they had left the country for 20 years. There's now quite a few of them around the UK and we're very lucky to have this one in Uxbridge. So let's take a look when we visit it, Reading. Oh my god, look, Wendy's is here. Is it open? Yes, I think it is. Looks like Wendy's open. I think I need to go in. We'd heard that Wendy's was here. Um, said online they were closed, but they're open. I think we've just got to, <laughs> we've got to go in. It's been 21 years since I've been to a Wendy's in the UK. Uh, it hasn't been that long, has it? Yeah, it was Bradford was the last time. Uh, yeah, before that actually, it was 23 years. I always remember the yellow wrappers. Am I, am I in it? Marcus, we're here. Am I 
in it. Now it now it is time for us to dug in. Dig in. Now it's time for us to dig in. Yay. Yes, hello. Oh, you want to subscribe? It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. So what did you think of Wendy's? Or Dave's, should I say? I think it was quite good. I would say it's more like a standard uh, fast food burger, as I said earlier on. Now this is the third and final in our Burger Week series. So we've already had the Beef Eater and Five Guys and we give both of those five out of five. Um, so Paul, how would you rate Wendy's overall? I think that the burger was satisfactory to good. I don't think that it was exceptional. I think, um, I think it was pretty good. Would I rave about it? Mm, I don't know. I suppose it's a bit cheaper than the other ones. Mm. Um, quite a bit cheaper. We'll put the prices on the screen. You know, their fries were really good. And I'm not saying it was bad at all. It's just pretty standard. But I am very, very pleased that Wendy's is back in the UK because I do remember it way back in the day in Bradford and other places as well. I think there was one on Shaftesbury Avenue um, or was it Charing Cross Road? One of one of the two in, in London. I think there's a McDonald's there now. And I can always remember going in there. So it's a little bit of burger history returning to the UK. And for me, I remember having Wendy's back when I was going to school in between breaks when I was at college. So I do remember that. So that so I think for that reason Wendy's does have a bit of a soft spot for me. So how would you rate it out of five? Would it be bad if I mark them down? Um okay. So with all the information that we have and just had maybe four out of five? I'm gonna give it a four as well, but I think if you are comparing like with like, if you were saying, oh, this is the uh, compared up against McDonald's and Burger King, I'd probably give it a five. Uh, but because we've sort of been mm. having more um, upmarket burgers, that's why we've, we've marked it down in this series. Um, and also because it didn't taste as juicy as the other ones, but the fries, they get five out of five on their own. Yes, indeed.